Hi, today we'll talk about T-Mesh component in FireMonkey 3D. My name is Seva. If you want to program 3D effectively with FireMonkey, you should know how to work with the T-Mesh component. T-Mesh component maybe is the most powerful component in the 3D FireMonkey world. Sometimes I feel that even very complicated objects can be represented by T-Mesh. The main concept of T-Mesh is triangle. Why triangle? Because triangle is the simplest spatial shape. If you want to set a triangle, you should define three points. Point number one, point number two, and point number three. But the indexes will start from zero. So we'll have point zero, point one, and point Two. So we have three points, point number zero, point number one, point number two, and coordinates X, O, Y, O, Z, O, etc. Can we change the order of points? It's easy. So we can change and maybe the second point the point with index 1 will go first, then point with index 0, and then point with index 2. We can make additional change. That's okay, but from the beginning it's better to keep the right order. O, 1, 2. So, now we know that any point has an index and any point should be set with its special coordinates x, y and z. In addition, in any particular point of the triangle you should define a normal. A normal is a vector directed arbitrarily, but uh, the color of the point and intermediate points strongly depend on the direction of the normal. Let's consider a normal as some torch. We can direct the torch right in the camera. In this case, we'll have the maximum brightness of the color. If we direct the torch outward, we'll see black point. You can even set the direction of the normals in this point right here and this point right there. And in intermediate points of the triangles, the brightness will be changed in some smooth way. Don't direct normals outwards, because in this case you will see completely black triangle. For simplicity, you can set normals as LO minus 1. It means that the normal will be directed towards the camera. You can also set the color of the triangle. In this case, you'll get metal or plastic one. Much more interesting is to apply texture rather than plain color. How texture is applied? Maybe that's the most difficult aspect in using T-Mesh component. Because in triangle you have three points. And if we take a texture, a bitmap, basically you will have four points. And the problem is how to bind four points of the texture with three special points of the triangle. How can we bind four pointed object in 2D world with three pointed object in 3D world? You take any bitmap, regular bitmap, and define three points on the plane with two coordinates inside this bitmap. The coordinates are not absolute, they are relational. So, 
they change from 0 to 1. For example, this particular point has the value of x approximately 0.4. So you can arbitrarily select three points inside some bitmap and this section will be applied to your spatial triangle. You can say that the sizes and the shape of this triangle on bitmap can consider considerably differ from the sizes and the shape of the spatial triangle. Don't worry, FireMonkey will stretch the bitmap to fit the real spatial triangle. So finally you'll successfully get the spatial shape uh, with some texture applied to it. Would you like this tissue? Oh, sure. Sure? Yeah. Is it okay? Yes. Even for it's me? Okay. Yeah, Even sure, for me? Sure. Well, maybe too bright. Black. Black is my color. Okay, if you have a texture with uh, some stochastic painting, you uh, usually don't care about how it is stretched or distorted, etc., etc. But if you want to get a predictable result, you should first play with some strictly geometrical textures. For example, you can take a texture like this and then try to apply to a triangle in, to feel the texture coordinates. Texture coordinates are points inside a texture which is then used to bind the texture to a triangle. I've made a special project for you to play with and to understand the texture coordinates. In the project you can see the T-mesh component uh, which defines the spatial triangle and some uh, bitmap is applied to it. The bitmap is a simple image. For the sake of comparisons there is another component, a plane, square plane with the same bitmap uh, to fill uh, the texture without some distortion or stretching. Let's go back to the T-mesh component and see how the triangle is defined. Normals LO-1 towards the camera points. Coordinates uh, for the point number 0, point number 1 and coordinates for point number 2. The third point with the index 2. Triangle indices uh, show how points go from the first to the second and to the third. You can change the order but be careful not to to hide your triangle. If you make some change like this, O21, you will hide the triangle. In this particular case the result is not useful but sometimes it uh, makes sense. It is uh, the only illustration that you should be careful when selecting the order of points. Normals. Uh, normal for point 0, for the second point and for the third point, uh, directed towards the camera, to, uh, towards you. Let's make some change and uh, direct the third normal to the right. You'll see the change of the color of the internal points uh, in our triangle. And uh, it's better to restore the previous uh, position of normals. Before playing with texture coordinates, uh, you should first uh, set the bitmap or the texture. Once again, we are using a special model of the texture to see distortion and stretching. Okay, let's play with texture coordinates. The first co uh, point is uh, left top corner, then top right corner and right bottom corner of the square bitmap. In this case you can see that uh, the texture on the triangle is just the same as the texture on the square on the right side. 
by changing the texture coordinates we can make some stretching like our real uh, tissue is a bit elastic and can freely be stretched if you set the texture coordinate greater than 1 you'll get the doubling of images these properties are good for design time for runtime it's more effective to use special arrays please remember this so once again indexes coordinates normal texture and texture coordinates now you know everything about tmesh play with the project and do effective 3d programming with firemonkey